Well, Tony, just a couple practices in. I know probably not much to take away, but what's, what's your goal the first week here? You know what? We're, we're, uh, we're working on taking care of the football. We're working on execution, fundamentals, and, and spending all of our time on that. And as long as we're getting better at all three of those, we're going to be good. Everybody's out there giving us 100%. And had a good off season, good good time with Tank right there, and we're excited about where we're at right now. Brennan said he's getting more comfortable being uncomfortable. How happy does that make you? It does. You know, BP, if there's one thing about BP, his personality is just a little bit different than what I'm used to as a quarterback. We've talked about it. He's working on it, and he enjoys now kind of the pressure on him right there and having to react to it. And he's getting better at it every day, and he's working hard at it. How is it having Art here right now to have him be live with you? Art's, Art's a great addition. You know, you got a guy that's played and started in the Big Ten. Uh, as soon as he steps in the huddle, he brings a presence of a, of a quarterback that started in the Big Ten. He knows how to handle a, a, a huddle right there. He brings a lot to the table. We're excited about Art. How did you see on film that you liked about him? About Art? Yeah. I mean, Art's a big quarterback, makes good decisions, throws the ball on time, you know, can, can manage the offense, and that's what, we've got to get, you know, that's what we had to have right now, and we were able to get it. How do you kind of view that competition right now between him and Brandon? Well, I wouldn't say there's no competition right now, but Brandon right now would be, you know, if we were playing tomorrow, he's our starting quarterback. And he's earned that, that spot through spring ball, and he's keeping that spot right now. So he's doing a great job. What we're talking about Mark Art doing is going out there and learning and mastering our offense, and he's getting better every day. But he, he doesn't have the snaps uh, BP does in our offense. What have your impressions of Mike Epstein been since you've gotten him back, and what would you make with the running back? Well, we're deep at running back, very excited about that, uh, excited that Mike's back's w with us. Everything I've seen has been positive, but, you know, we haven't had the pads on or anything yet. What does Isaiah Williams add to your wide receiver room? You know, he adds, he, he's got unbelievable God-given ability for that slot position. We can move him around, motion him. We've got multiple ways we can get him the football. But Isaiah is still learning the position. I mean, like yesterday was kind of his first real full practice at that position. So he's going to get better at it every day, but we're very excited. What, what is the education of a guy who switches positions from quarterback? What's that look like? The thing I'm excited about, if someone spent time in my room, they usually know what everybody's doing. And so he's able to pick up, I think, on a lot of things very easily as far as the big picture stuff. But then the small picture stuff, all the little stuff that Coach McDonald teaches those guys, that's what he's got to learn and spend his time on. You said yesterday there was no starting quarterback. You said there's maybe still a competition there? Like, will you name a starter? How do you like to go about camp? Well, A, I don't name the starter. I'm not the head coach, okay? Whatever Coach Bielema says is what it is. And I'm not saying Brandon's a starter. I'm saying if we had to play tomorrow, sure. he'd be the guy that goes in right now. So he, he's been running with the ones right now. Do you now. like competition in that sense? Though? Love competition at all positions. I think it makes everybody better. Tony, is there excitement about what you have at tight end, up and down that depth chart right now? Yeah, you know, we feel like we're deep at tight end. Uh, not just two guys, but three and four tight ends right there. They're getting better every day, and, and it's a way that we can, you know, we can play in bigger sets with 12 personnel as one of our primary sets. You know, they add they add guys that have played football at the college level. You know, it might not be at the Big Ten level, but they played football at the college level, and they understand how fast ball is, how to react to it out there, and, and there's nothing more important than experience at the offensive line position. You seem to have a lot of that. How's that show itself? Well, hopefully it'll show itself well. Again, we're not in pads right now. And so, you know, we've got a lot of guys that are practicing right now that weren't practicing with us in the spring, whether they're transfers, freshmen, guys that were hurt in the spring. And so we're excited about that. Well, again, we haven't put pads on, so it's hard to really say with him. But you can tell he's a guy that's played a lot of football. And, and that's always exciting to have offensive linemen that play a lot of ball. So what's maybe the goal for you as coordinator? Incorporating those guys you they haven't been with you through the spring, you know, kind of in training camp and getting them up to speed, maybe is. Well, nobody just, you know, Coach Bielema has got a pretty hard rule. Nobody just jumps in and is, is the starter right there. So they've got to come in, they've got to work their way in, they've got to prove themselves and move up the depth chart right there. And that's what will happen over the course of the next two to three weeks. Is there anywhere where you feel like Brandon's really improved since the spring? I think Brandon's improved his decision making with the football. Like understanding what stuff's not there, I don't have to force it. Not holding the ball too long, maybe taking a sack. Using his legs, he's got athletic ability, he's long, he's fast. Getting out of the pocket a little bit quicker and making something happen. And just overall taking care of the football better. How comfortable are you scheming up plans for him to run the ball? Uh, you know, I don't, that may or may not be the case. It depends on who we're playing, what we need to do right there, how healthy he is. Uh, but Brandon could certainly do it from some of the younger quarterbacks? What have you seen from a guy like Deuce or even Samari? 
Deuce and Samari. Well, Deuce went through spring. He's coming in, and Deuce, it seems like he's had a better offseason doing some decent things. And Samari's just a true freshman that's just so raw. You know, the one thing he's got is two things. He's got size, and he's got an unbelievably strong arm. Okay. Now there's all the other stuff we got to work on that he hasn't really done, and, and it's going to take time. It always takes time with freshmen. How has your wide receiver room changed since the spring? You guys have I mean, we've added, we've added a freshman that we like. We've added some sophomores that we like. We've brought a guy back that played last year that we like, plus the guys that were on the roster in the spring. So the, the wide receiver room has the chance to you know, <clears throat> totally flip from kind of where it was at in the spring. So wherever you were at, hopefully we're, we'll be a lot better. You've had eight months with a good chunk of this team, just what have you liked about the way that they've maybe embraced the new system and just maybe gone after things? Offensive? There, I don't think there's a guy in our team that isn't all in. Whether they're a guy that was recruited by the previous previous staff, a freshman that we brought in, a transfer that we brought in, everybody on our team right now is bought in, and, and they're bought into how we're doing things, our system, our family, and and they're all excited, and it's it's fun to watch. And when you're in this position, you know, maybe working with a new group of players, what do you feel like is the most important thing for you, just to to continue maybe to get that buy-in and to, to teach. Uh, yeah, I mean, the buy-in's huge. That's the number one thing for, for Coach Bielema. So we're always working towards that as assistant coaches. As an offensive coordinator, we're, I'm trying to find the, the best 11 to 16 guys out there that are going to be able to help us in the fall and, and uh, execute at a high level and make sure they understand what's important to us, which is taking care of the football, moving the ball down the field, and scoring touchdowns in the red zone. And how unique is this with so many guys back the super senior class that you have to be able to come in, implement a new system, and then you guys feel like possibly have success this year right away? Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty awesome because really you got two groups of seniors, you know, um, and, and never happened before. So it's never happened, even though I'm the oldest guy in the staff, has never happened in my career either. So you got double dip on seniors out there, and you got a decent amount of guys that have played a lot of college football, and, and you're excited about that. Now, that doesn't promise anything, that doesn't guarantee anything, but you do have a lot of guys out there who play college ball, and we're excited about that. Does it change the learning curve when you got guys that maybe just they understand? You know, college football a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, even a guy like just take Art. Art's pretty new. He hasn't taken a snap in our system until yesterday. But Art's played a lot of college football. He's played in the Big Ten in football games and started. He came in. He had to switch verbiage a little bit, but he gets stuff. He understands it. He's experienced it right there. So there's, there's, there's no, you know, nothing greater than experience. As someone who has a scheme for another opponent, like how advantageous is it that people don't know? Well, I mean, especially for that first game, you can't sit there and say it's not advantageous. You know, I, I wouldn't want to be in that situation, but if you are, you know, they've got to get ready for multiple things right there and then see what we do. And, and so hopefully we'll take advantage of that. Excuse me? Yes, Luke's physically able to go. Coach Bielema doesn't have a lot of rules, but one of his rules is be on time. And if you're not on time for something, there's consequences. Well, I, I think it was awesome. You know, I, I can't, you know, I think Tank's one of the best I've ever been around, one of the best in the country, him and his staff. And then that's a big part of it. The other part of it is how hard our kids work for Tank and put in the time and make sure they did the right things on and off the field to get that improvement.